Resistance headquarters, Chuck Schumer speaking. <laughs> Hello, Senator Schumer, it's Jimmy Dore. Jimmy, how are you? To what do I owe this increasingly regular pleasure talking to you on the horn? I love it. Let me guess. You want to talk about Stormy Daniels. What a piece of work, huh? Talk about bazoongas. <laughs> I don't think Donnie Boy is going to get himself out of this one. Points resisted. Ah, uh, so stupid. Actually, Senator Schumer, I wanted to talk to you about the speech you gave last week at the APAC conference. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, I was curious about you know though I do have to say i i don't I don't really care for this <laughs> care for what all this scrutiny on APAC, all these accusations about who they are and what they do it's all a little anti semitic <laughs> what yeah. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Look, why don't you focus on other things? Don't worry about that conference. Why this focus? Uh, why the focus? What? Because APEC is an extremely powerful lobby that has great influence on public and foreign policy, and its dealings with powerful American politicians are worthy of the press's attention. Okay, you say it like that, and it makes sense. But still, but still, it's anti-Semitism to ask questions or or to question Israel. All these eyes and ears, why don't they just go away? Focus on Trump and the dumb things he says. Don't you like funny things? You're a comedian. <laughs> There's so much to make fun of there. Stormy Daniels, look at her breasts instead of APAC and Israel. Look at her breasts. <laughs> yeah, I understand you and many of your colleagues want Trump and his shenanigans to be a giant distraction. Uh, a few months ago, Kirsten Gillibrand and myself were this close to getting a bill passed, which would have essentially criminalized the boycotting of Israel. Yeah, right. And it was withdrawn because it violated the First Amendment. But, you know, it's insane you even put it forward in the first place. You know what? Who cares? Israel <laughs> is more important than the First Amendment. The First Amendment isn't there to protect people who don't have Israel's best interests at heart. <laughs> you know, they have anti-defamation laws in Europe. That's where I want us headed. Criticize Israel. Go to jail, you anti-Semite. Quite frankly, if that shicks of Gillibrand hadn't caved from public pressure, we might have gotten it through. So in your speech, you laid out the root reason, in your, in your opinion, for the unrest between Israel and Palestine. Can you relay that here? Well, it's very simple. The land belongs to us, the Jews, not them. And that is stated very clearly in the Torah. It's right there. But the Palestinians and the Arabs don't believe in the Torah. <laughs> they just straight up don't believe it. Can you imagine such a thing? <laughs> so that's the problem. Not the IDF, not the occupied territories, not the settlements, not the Gaza blockade, not any of that stuff. It's the Torah. Wow. I know. <laughs> it really all does come down to belief in your book, doesn't it? Your book, too, Jimmy. The Torah is also the first five books of the Old Testament of the Christian Bible. I, uh, yeah, that's not my book either. Um, I'm actually, you know, I don't believe in an external God. Well, where do your morals come from? Uh, do you have any idea how insane this sounds and how maddening it is for us who don't have a dog in this superstitious fight to watch this lunacy influence our foreign policy? Yes, I mean, once I say all this one-on-one -on -one to you, I know it seems a little bonkers. I realize that. But at APAC, it makes perfect sense. You kind of have to be there. <laughs> Could I attend as a member of the press? Sure, of course. You just couldn't have attended the conference about Israel and the press. That particular event was closed to the press. <laughs> so, if that is the root of the problem, that Palestinians don't believe in the Torah and that they had been squatting on the land of others for centuries, 
Then tell me, Chuck, what is the solution? For them to start believing it. Do you really foresee that happening? Absolutely not. Are you kidding? No way. So there's basically no solution. Correct, Amundo. And that is what APEC wants, isn't it? Perpetual conflict. The ideation of Israel as perpetually besieged is important to conservative Israelites and American Christians alike. Okay, okay. Here we go with the anti-Semitisms again. All right, Archie Bunker, settle down. Look, I'm getting a little tired of this, to be honest with you. Why don't you avert your inquisitive gaze elsewhere? Anywhere else. I don't care where. Stormy Daniels' boobs would be good, like I said. Hey, (laughs) you want to scrutinize a lobby who has politicians bought and paid for? How about the NRA, huh? Get a load of those guys. Yeah, Senator Schumer, you publicly cry over American kids killed with guns, but but what's your reaction to Palestinian kids lying dead on a Gaza beach killed with American weapons? Eh, They should have believed in the Torah. Oh, that's harsh. 